Hey, what's up guys? I'm Prey Torn and welcome back to Hearts Round 4 as we are playing as the German Empire. Alright, so last episode we continued our invasion of France, had quite a bit of success, killed hundreds of thousands of British and French troops, and uh, now in this episode we're going to be working on trying to get the French to capitulate. Should happen soon. Uh, you know, if we tank these victory points down here, that should be enough to to get them capitulate and then the problem here is going to be trying to get uh, the British troops here wiped out. Uh, that's going to be quite difficult I think. Uh, we won't continue any more attacks here I think until after uh, we get the French capitulate just so we, we don't have to fight them uh, in these mountains with the level 10 forts. It's going to be difficult guys. So we'll just wait. Uh, we'll just wait. Uh, so I moved the planes around a little bit. We still got a ton here in northern France because of this situation here. Uh, but I moved down, some down over to here. And these guys should be moving. Yeah, they'll be moving over here. I guess you could take them off real quick just so they're over here. And then have them train just so we don't see that there. Uh, but yeah, I did pull some planes back simply because there's not... I, I've already got planes going to all these air bases here. And there's no other air bases. Uh, so that's the reason why we're going to pull those back and train them. We could put them here as well, I suppose, if there's any openings. We'll see. Uh, for right now, we'll just let them train. Yeah, we're trying to get these guys here cut off, which I think we're just about done with that task. Let's go ahead and go here and over here. Getting those uh, ace pilots. And looks like we got some more uh, battles, or just one. We just did some more bombing over there. Uh, we got all these troops over here. I don't think this is uh, entirely necessary at this point. I don't know if there's any more plans, naval invasions uh, for our territory. They are attempting to take the islands here. Remember we did build those uh, level 10 forts. I don't know if they actually got finished up though. Uh, looks like we did finish the forts. So that is uh, going to help us quite a bit because of those those fortifications. Also our entrenchment is going to help out a lot as well. Uh, so this is going to be very difficult for them to, to win here despite us only having two troops. Uh, two divisions. Uh, they're going to have difficulty actually getting the wind there. We're also able to bomb them as well, so that's going to help. Uh, I almost want to go ahead and have the submarines extend their coverage to over here. Uh, I know that this might be risky, but let's just see if we can't uh, can't just completely cut the British off from any supplies uh, by bringing the submarines everywhere. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. Uh, I did fill these out, uh, so we got the submarines moving to them now to kind of replace some of our losses. We lost a lot of submarines, guys but we expected that, so not surprising or unplanned. All right, um, let's go ahead and bring these troops over here. Just keep pushing forward here. There we go. So these guys are now cut off, so let's get them wiped out. Yeah, just go and destroy them all here. And this should be pretty easy because we have so many troops here already. So this will be a nice, easy, uh, you know, win here, getting all these troops wiped out. Yeah, not much we can do over there for now. Just going to leave it as is. Uh, let's go ahead and push forward here. Until we get control of all these rails, it's going to be, uh, you know, supply is going to be a problem. Can we get over here? We can. Maybe. Yeah, we have to win. Hold up, what are these guys doing? Don't leave yet. I don't want you to leave. I didn't give you permission to do that. So we're coming up behind these troops that are up along the Spanish border there. Defending in the mountains. Still sinking the, the British fleet in the channel. Uh, that's six more screens sunk there. Yeah, this is very, very effective, guys. Uh, so over here, the invasion has halted. I'm guessing because our submarines engaging them. Uh, we got the excavation. Uh, let's go ahead and get... We do actually need fuel upgrades here. So I think we're going to start working on those. Get the fuel refining for. I think that will be necessary. As you can see that we are having some, some fuel shortages now. Due to the, the sheer number of, of planes and stuff we have out there. Uh, it's problematic. Right, let's go and push forward here. We already got somebody going there. So we'll just have both these guys go over here. Attack them there with the infantry. I want to say that might be a uh, hill province. Yeah, hill province here. All right, so just just gonna try and get the French destroyed now. Get them to capitulate. We gotta take more of these victory points. We do have a decision available uh, about developing oil fields. 
Yeah, sure, why not? Now let's go ahead and do that. Makes sense. We do need more oil. Uh, three more British destroyers sunk there and a light cruiser. They still have a, a massive fleet. Uh, we sunk six convoys there. Very effective. So now we brought the submarines in. It's going to be even more difficult for them to do the invasion there. Though I actually do want them to continue to launch invasions. Because uh, they want to attack those forts and let them do it. That's uh, going to be so effective for us. We're going to do such high casualties to them. That'll be worth it. I'm just going to have this guy come over here and he can go grab this for us. So just need to get these troops here wiped out. Shouldn't be that difficult. Take that province there. Let's push forward here. So yeah, need to get that victory point right there. I know we're not going to win that. We're going to keep the attack going anyways. Yeah, all these are losses, but that's okay. We'll, uh, we'll improve the situation there eventually. Uh, destroyer sunk there. And what did we get over here? It looks like that's an ongoing battle. Uh, seven convoys, but we lost six submarines. This area has probably been the most costly for us when it comes to submarines. Uh, but some of these are incredibly effective. Now, given the Italians were involved in this, but look at this. We got a, a British carrier sunk, a battleship, and ten destroyers. So that's a major battle for us there. How many battleships do they have left? They can't possibly have very many. As far as planes go, they still got a lot. You know, you don't really lose planes very fast. Uh, same thing with the French. Uh, while we're at 70.9, I think we started with 18,000, so it kind of shows you uh, that our production is mostly making up for, for the losses. You know, planes uh, at this late game, uh, you don't really typically win by killing all of them. Uh, but the ships, though, that's a different story. They take so long to build. Uh, 316 ships total. Uh, with seven battleships at this point and only one carrier remaining, which that's kind of the main, you know, advantage that the British had over us is that they had they had the carriers while we did not. So they don't really have that advantage anymore. I'm going to try and get this closed off here so we can wipe out these troops. Uh, this guy's still not winning in Toulouse, but that's okay. Might be able to get some assistance here in this with this uh, tank. Just got to wait till they get over to the front. Yeah, I just gotta wait. Be patient here, guys. Alright. Um, can we push forward here? These guys are just uh, lacking in supply. We need to go after that victory point, so let's go for that. I don't know how much that's worth, but it's worth something. Uh, three points. So I'm just trying to get them to pigilate. We need to take all those victory points if we can. Uh, we're going to grab this one as well. Uh, the attack on Toulouse is not going to, to work out. So let's go and stop that for now. And I guess we're on the defense at this point. So with the one dockyard, we'll just put these in the submarines, whatever we get. We'll put in the submarines there. And uh, military factories, I think, is still probably anti-air that, that we need. Yeah, even with the losses, anti-air is still the only real problem. Though, uh, heavy tanks are, are starting to have some, some shortages there. Uh, so yeah, we could put into the, the heavies too, but the, the problem there, of course, is the lack of materials, resources resources that we lack so I'm hesitant to, to put any more into that actually because yeah we'd have to trade for the resources so let's just go for the anti-air for now since that doesn't really require anything and, and a big part of this is we keep pumping factories into there but uh, the efficiency is so low right now it's really not all that effective just yet we have a mountain unit we'll throw these infantry into here I'm not gonna put a tank into that attack but yeah we'll put some, some infantry uh, the hills, we can have them attack in the hills, though. Uh, losing here, let's actually put somebody over there to support that. And yeah, we need to get too loose, but the problem is there's too many French troops there. Um, where can we get a win? There's a lot of troops over here, guys. Uh, let's go with the guys who have some organization, but there's a lot of troops over here. So we're going to have some difficulty. Um, we, we have planes, but um, I'm not sure if they're reaching over here. Uh, again, lack of air bases is the issue. There's no space anywhere. Could build it up, but I think by the time we get it constructed, they'll already be defeated. Now, maybe that won't be the case. I'll regret not building them, but yeah, I don't think so, guys. We just don't even have all the, the troops on the front yet, so... Yeah, once we get them all over here, we'll be in a good position. Now, we don't have planning bonuses, so that would help. I guess you can make the argument to get a planning bonus here. Yeah, let's get planning bonuses. So at least when they're sitting here, they're getting that done. Uh, we could cut some troops off if we win there, but I don't think we're going to get the win there. 
Go and try and take these mountain provinces while they're undefended with these fast tanks here. Uh, looks like they are no longer undefended. Let's go here. We got the Signal Company 2s. Alright, excellent. Uh, so with that, I guess we can go after the 3s now. Or we can do MPs. Well, that's eating up some equipment, but equipment's really not a problem for us at this moment. So let's just go for the Signal Company 3s. That'll help with the infantry, since I think they're the only ones that have those. Uh, we lost another submarine here, losing, or they lost uh, three convoys. So I got a destroyer. We're losing a lot of submarines, guys. Uh, we have stepped up submarine pro production with those new uh, dockyards that we got, though, so that'll be helpful. Uh, but it just gets replacements being sent out. Because, yeah, we are. Well, you know what? I don't think all these have arrived yet. All right, so let's just wait before I send any more submarines out. Again, not much we can do here until we defeat the French. Get them knocked out. Looks like everything we got here, guys. We want the win right there. That'll cut off those troops and give us an air base. Uh, Cuba joined the North American Alliance. Okay. Again, we're just kind of hoping we don't have to fight them. Uh, we'll see what happens. We're going to attack these guys and lock them down. And... Can we get over here? We can, but we'd have to attack them to lock them down. Uh, maybe attack right here. I don't think he'll be able to win by us. Oh, lonesome though, so let's send these guys to help him. Don't have any tanks up here. Again, it's kind of mountainous region, so I don't know how effective that'd be anyways. Lose more than is necessary. We are sinking a ton of convoys throughout here. Uh, so just trying to shut them down from any uh, trade, uh, particularly for oil. The British don't really have oil of their own for the most part. Uh, so let's just take a look, see how they're doing on oil supplies. They're down to 130,000. So they are definitely having oil problems already. Same thing with the French. Uh, they are having some oil shortages. So, yeah, very effective uh, with sinking all these convoys, just running through their, their oil supplies. And, of course, you know, another part of that is they're, they're using them. Uh, four submarines sunk there. Uh, submarine destroyer sunk here. Having a lot of success in the Mediterranean now. Destroyer sunk there. Right, excellent. You know, they're, they're using their... Uh, you know, using all that that fuel because they got their fleet out there. They got that big old air force, obviously, which is costing them just as badly as it cost us. All right, so these guys are cut off now. Uh, let's get them destroyed. Get them wiped out. All right, so they're attempting to attack here. Let's go ahead and attack this way now. Go after that air base. I'd love to get Toulouse taken, but I don't know. Maybe it's yellow. Go here. Try and attack here as well. Just not a whole lot can be done here just yet. Just gotta get some of these wins. I'm trying to wipe out these guys looks like that's gonna be pretty easy at this point. Yeah, I think we're gonna get this done fairly easily. Let's attack with those guys. So a lot more troops here, again, that are going to be uh, completely wiped out. Uh, and more success in the English Channel. Six destroyers sunk there, four there, one there, two there, one there. So this is the uh, the British destroyer fleet that they built. They had like 300-something destroyers, and we're effectively wiping them out at this point. One more convoy sunk there. And a light cruiser, two light cruisers, seven destroyers. I mean, good God, yeah. The uh, British fleet is in a bad bad position at this point. Go and attack here. Mountain troops should do pretty well even though he's by his little lonesome. Well, let's go and attack here. That should help out. It looks like we got pushed back right there unfortunately. Don't see a lot of defeats but every once in a while it happens. I know these are in the mountains at this point but it's fine. Just want to get her done. Trying to get those guys wiped out. So that should result in those 14 divisions being destroyed. I will take that guy out and have these guys attack again. Part of this is just locking these troops down at this point. Uh, these guys are all cut off. Could probably effectively push these guys back. Maybe. Maybe not. Yeah, it looks like that's not going to work. So they do have the uh, support of their fleet here. Could have railway guns supporting there too, but I think that's the fleet. Uh, so we sunk those convoys there. Uh, not seeing any more attacks here, but you see the Italians are 
are actually starting to staff here. The Americans are uh, sending volunteers. Problem is their volunteers are stuck here. Uh, again, I, I don't think there's going to be a ton of divisions to defend Britain. Uh, but we don't launch an attack yet until we get this done uh, to try and do the naval invasions. And besides, we we got to get that British, uh, the Royal Navy, uh, wiped out as well so we can have control of the seas. Uh, so we did finish construction of something here, the attack cruiser. Okay, so were we wanting to make an improvement to it? Is that why I stopped having them built? Let's see. I'm not seeing anything that we're missing here. Yeah, because we got the torpedoes. Why did I only do one? Got the radar, we got the anti-air. I'm not entirely sure why I set them up to only build one. Yeah, they should have just kept building them. Maybe it was not the ease, maybe we hadn't, yeah, it might have been an older one. That might be what's going on there. All right, so let's go and get them deployed over to here. And uh, we'll get them thrown right into the, to the fleet now. Might be this one, yeah. Get them over there. All right, excellent. And it looks like all of our, yeah, all of our reinforcements have already arrived, so let's go ahead and get any more replacements that are needed. Yeah, I gotta get these guys into here. I think that's it. Just kind of replace them as we go. Uh, and then we have military factories as well. I really don't think we need to put any more anti-air. It's efficiency uh, that needs to be improved at this point. Uh, so I think we're okay. Just looking at losses here. None of them are all that substantial. Again, you kind of need the heavy tanks. I put them into there, but, um, you know, obviously resources are going to eventually become an issue here. All right, so pushing back here has been problematic. Uh, let's see if we can't get... No, uh, maybe not. What if we brought the tanks over here? I don't know if that will help. And it could try and attack here. It looks like that would help out. Yeah, a lot of these uh, units of ours are kind of exhausted at this point and don't really have the the uh, organization to keep pushing forward. Let's look at another destroyer here. Uh, five more there. And uh, more up here in the north, including the light cruiser. All right, excellent. So by the end of this episode, the Royal Navy is going to be much reduced from when we looked at them last episode. Uh, looks like we did not win the attack there. Uh, we are winning here, though. All right, there we go. Beautiful. Let's go and help out on this attack, then. Try to push forward here if we can. Again, just attempted to go after Toulouse and having quite a bit of difficulty doing so. Uh, of course, these are all mountain provinces. These tanks aren't uh, most effective units for doing this. A lot of troops over here. Wow, good God, look at them all. Yeah, a lot of troops. Alright, so we're going after Toulouse now. Uh, trying to push forward there. Looks like that was effective. Let's go and push forward here. These guys are all cut off, so it doesn't really matter how we go about doing this. Could push forward there, but you know what? Let's just, let's just get these guys wiped out. See what we've done in the seas. Got a, a heavy cruiser sunk. Two more convoys. And looks like uh, the Italians lost the convoy as well. Yeah, this is, there's just no way we're going to have any success up there. Uh, so we need to cut these guys off here. I've been trying to win there and then win here, but um, yeah, so far that has not been working. Maybe if we do it here. Um, let me just see. Yeah, we, we do have all these planes here. Uh, we actually have some open air bases there. We need to get that air base right there. So that's where we should focus our attack. So we're going to attack here. This is all across a river, though, so... Hmm. Okay, so we should go this way, then. And we're going to bring these guys over this way. And since we're not attacking here, let's bring them on down here. We're not even doing the attack there. And then they can come over there once uh, this is wrapped up. Yeah, because we need more we need more tanks over here. Just more troops over here. Alright, so this one's not effective. This one is. We'll just get them into one of those provinces there. Yeah, you got all these little pockets. Uh, Toulouse is in our hands, so that's big uh, because that was a victory point. 
Yeah, you know, you're taking a lot of losses here, of course, but uh, that's okay. Uh, attack with those guys. Just trying to get this area wrapped up here. And there we go. France has capitulated. That's what we're working on, guys, to get the French to capitulate. Um, so with that, it's just British troops now. Uh, sunk two submarines there. Uh, three British destroyers here. Looks like the Italians are losing submarines over here. And we got more convoys sunk. Are these all troop convoys? They are. Uh, there's freight convoys as well, but I think those are troop convoys. All right, so now it's going to be much easier to push forward here. Though, um, you know, there, there's still a lot of troops, and there still is the level 10 forts. But it should be easier, I think is the point. So let's see if we can't get some wins now. I mean, again, it's going to be incredibly difficult, uh, incredibly difficult to get wins regardless. But we're still going to try. Uh, what choice do we have, right? Again, level 10 forts, just, uh, <laughs> it's terrible. Uh, let's go and get all these uh, British troops wiped out. I mean, they have a port here, so you do have that problem. Uh, there's not really a lot of troops here, so those guys will come up over this way once we uh, are done here. Right. Well, well, some of these guys should be doing this. They don't have any organization. All right, some right, those guys wiped out. So, yeah, it's just British troops here at this point. Taking their air bases as well. So that's awesome. Uh, so we might want to move this guy over to here. And... I mean, we still need a lot of planes there, so we should probably keep them there. But yeah, we have a lot of uh, air bases that have opened up here. Uh, we got another destroyer there. I think we have some planes over here. I mean, they're training up. It's not necessary to keep them over there. I think we have... These are all tactical bombers as well. Training up, so we could put them on uh, bombing duty. I think we'll just let them train, get their experience up. I'm trying to move some more over here. Um, I guess a thousand... A thousand to a thousand is pretty good, I suppose. Yeah, that, that's fine. We got the, the ones that were far away moved over here. Alright, so let's get these guys wiped out. Push forward here. And here. Gonna need to wait for these troops here. So where are they all going? So they're all going over that way. What do we have here? So we, we currently have nine of these guys. 11 of them. I feel like that's probably enough to get the job done. Yeah, that's probably enough. So you can have all these guys come over this way and just focus on where the, the real difficulty is going to be is this attack here. Uh, we know this is not going to be an easy attack. I mean, like, you can see we, we are not going to have a lot of success here. Yeah. We'll just move one province at a time, I suppose. And just hope we can get some wins. I mean, that's that's green right there. That is a level 10 fort, so... That's what we need to see. Uh, it's going to be tough fighting, but we got to get the British troops wiped out before we can do the invasion of their uh, their territory. But yeah, the French are knocked out of the war. That's what's important. Um, let's go ahead and also extend this like so. And make sure they have planning bonuses. Alright, excellent. So that looks pretty good. Okay, so we'll get these guys wiped out and then they come over and help out here. We're always going to be needing more troops. See, we got more coming from the other provinces, the other fronts. Just kind of focus all of our attacks on these guys just to get these into the green. Uh, we do have the ability to get a doctrine, an air doctrine. The last one Interception detection. Okay, so that's not going to help us out much because we don't even use interception typically. Uh, we got some more naval battles. Light cruisers and destroyers sunk, convoy sunk, all that good stuff. Yep, even some submarines there. All right, so let's try and get across the river against the easiest unit here. Yeah, that's the easiest attack easily. Easily the easiest attack. Kind of a strange way to say that, but uh, we've got to get to the ports. Oh, they actually have two ports here, so that's really going to be our goal here, is to get sweep through these ports to cut off all the troops here. And oh, they have another one here as well. Okay, so that's a problem. So got to get along the coastline essentially first. Uh, so we've won here. Excellent. Let's go and start the attack here now. Again, large number of troops just sending everything we got. 
We got the modern armor protection. Let's go after the engines now. We got those convoys sunk. Uh, looks like we lost some more submarines, unfortunately. Just trying to cut the, the British off from all their resources and trade. Alright, let's go ahead and push forward here. And here. And then let's take this guy and lock those guys down briefly. And then go ahead and sweep through here. We can even extend this a little bit. And let's go and attack over here. I think we can go ahead and start wiping these troops out. Uh, unfortunately, we did face some resistance here. In fact, let me just have this guy go up north, lock that guy down. Alright, looking good. Kind of closing this up here, but we gotta get here. Okay, it looks like somebody already did that. Excellent. Now we'll go this way. And try and get these guys completely destroyed now at this point. Yep, just wipe out the, the rest of those British troops there. Not gonna accept those expeditionary forces. And looks like we got some more military factories. Alright. So at this point, we don't really need anything anymore. Yeah, there's really not much of anything that we need. Just put it on trains. Uh, we do need resources, though, as always. Uh, we're trading so much with the, the Portuguese. If they ever became an enemy, that'd be a problem. Let's let's trade with the, the Chinese. Let's spread it out a little bit. Have some more success navally in the Mediterranean. And yeah, we're just wrecking the, the Royal Navy. I think there's not going to be much left of them by the end of this episode. Uh, not going to be much left of our submarine fleet either, though, I suppose. Uh, but yeah, there's not going to be a whole lot left of them. Alright, this is just a mess. It's really difficult to tell what's going on here. Alright, so we, we have so many troops here that we should be able to get this done. Just like with overwhelming numbers. Yeah, just send so many troops in that you can win even against level 10 forts. And also we have all the planes as well, uh, so that's really helping us out. Let's get these guys pushing forward here. Alright, so can't let them get an air base. Uh, so we got an event about the question of Yugoslavia. I'm not entirely sure what's going on here. So the fact that the Italians have held that for a long time. We now stand supreme in Europe. France was long the foundation of stability in southeastern Europe, but now the entire area is up for grabs. We can pull all the nations there in our orbit with no one left to stop us. It's time to tell the Yugoslavians that they have to make a choice. Either they stand with us or they were swept away. It's kind of strange because Yugoslavia is gone. The tiger cares not for the opinions of mice. That's... That's on the Italian sphere of influence. They've already conquered that. Uh, are they not? Uh, yeah, they've already had a peace treaty with them, too. That's kind of strange. They really shouldn't be getting that event, I don't think. Alright, so yeah, just trying to get these guys wiped out here. Got to defend there. And then, yeah, just wipe that guy out. And then this guy, and then we're done. And then we can just focus all our efforts on uh, this here. Uh, this mess. Just trying to get this done. Attack with these guys. Yeah, just throwing everything we got into these attacks. And that's kind of helping us get them wiped out despite their big high level forts. Alright, so yeah, I think these guys will come over there to assist us. I, I believe so. They might not have fronts over there though. Yeah, there's fronts over there. So yeah, they'll come over there and uh, assist us. We'll just send all, I don't know how many armies these are. In fact, we're probably going to exhaust our own supply because we've got too many troops here. So we need to get this done sooner rather than later. Let's kind of throw everything we got into this attack here. Alright, so that's looking pretty good, guys. Again, just overwhelming attacks. That's how we're getting the win here. Getting these uh, fortifications taken out. Maybe let's go this way. Yeah, this is uh, it's a little ridiculous. The sheer number of troops we're sending in here. Uh, and yeah, we are exhausting supply. Not surprising at all. We could pull back some of the troops if we have to. Uh, in fact, we might go ahead and do that. 
just because. Yeah, I think we're going to pull them back a bit. Because uh, supply is clearly a problem. Uh, sinking all kinds of stuff, but the Italians just lost 56 destroyers. Wow. Good God. Yeah, why'd you put your service fleet over here? So the Italian fleet is much reduced now. A, a big part of their fleet is the, the destroyers they have. But yeah, that was huge. They've uh, lost a big chunk of their fleet for nothing. Uh, just kind of silly. I'm not entirely sure why they why they did that. I just kind of gave them up. Okay, well, you know they're gonna do with they're gonna do what the AI does. Um, so I'll put these into the tactical bombers, and uh, looks like we're also short on chromium. Uh, we don't want to do that. We'll just get this here. We'll be short too. It's fine. Uh, we have a decision available. Dismantle the Maginot Line. Don't want to do that just yet. Because obviously we don't have control of the entire Maginot Line just yet. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to go and take uh, this army here and get them out of there. Not sure where we're going to put them just yet. Maybe just put them over here in Paris for now. So let's get rid of all their current orders. And then just give them like an area defense. Because the British might attack. There's there's a chance they might attack. Obviously, these guys aren't the best at defense, but... They'll just have them defend forts. Just for now. So they'll get over there, defend those ports for us. Try and, um, you know, help out with the supply issues that we know we're going to we're gonna have here. Alright, so that's all the provinces there that we're currently attacking. And getting these guys wiped out. All right, so yeah, just a matter of time before we get all the troops here destroyed. Uh, still working on the British Navy. Yep, looking pretty good here. Sucking another light cruiser there. Uh, we're gonna have to like rearrange all of our uh, planes, get them focusing on the British. And I'm probably just gonna launch naval invasion soon because I don't think there's a whole lot left of their fleet. Well, 225, they still got a lot. Uh, but you know, we're, we're reducing those numbers very rapidly. Alright, so just trying to get these guys destroyed here. So that's it right there, guys. Alright, so with that, we just destroyed everything Britain had here on the continent. Okay, excellent. So we're done. Um, so let me just take a look here. We lost another submarine, unfortunately. Uh, I suppose we could be bombing here. Uh, basically, we just need to re rearrange our entire uh, situation here. Uh, we're currently repairing a lot of stuff. All right, that's probably unnecessary. Uh, we do want to start getting radar coverage, so let's go ahead and build radar over here. Uh, we've already built it off over there, so yeah, we'll build it there. And, I mean, we don't really need it in the Mediterranean. I expect the British aren't going to have much of a presence there any longer. Uh, we've already built this all the way up. All right, excellent. All right, so I think that's probably good for the radar coverage. Now it's going to be about air bases. Uh, we're going to need a lot of air bases. We've already built that one all, up, all the way up to level 10. Uh, but yeah, we're going to need, like, all these built up, frankly. And maybe build this one up here. That should have good coverage there, I think. And yeah, you can just keep on building all these up, just so you can put as many planes into the sea as, po or excuse me, over the sea as possible, as well as over Britain, and just really start bombing them uh, really heavy. Uh, also, let me just see if we need it, what resources we need besides the tungsten and the chromium. Seems that's it. We're pretty good on all the other ones. Um, so if there's any uh, states that grant those resources in our newly conquered territory we're gonna to want to build in those I don't I don't know that France has has much of any of those though it doesn't look like it mm -mm. all right so not gonna be able to get those resources through infrastructure we're just gonna to have to continue to trade for them all right well that's fine uh, the the fuel is obviously a problem could continue trading for it of course I don't think we're actually trading for it so we might want to, to start trading for it but another option would be to, to build in our own territory. Specifically these 100% states. And yeah, just uh, try and get it this way. And then 
I suppose we should probably trade for some fuel. It's clearly, uh, we're having some shortages at this point. So we trade with the Romanians and get a ton that way. Uh, also, uh, I wanted to change this up from construction engineering over to suppress subjects. Especially now that we're all doing all these trades with our, our allies here. So Turkey delivers an investment portfolio. Uh, representatives from Turkey have visited our country and met with many of our politicians in the hopes of garnering endorsements for their investment scheme. The government in Turkey would like for us to use our resources to better their own industrial capabilities and output. Turkish officials have inferred that by assisting their nation, we might be able to expect aid of our own in the future in the form of a military alliance between our nations. All right, yeah, we don't really want to attack them, so a military alliance would be useful. So yeah, let's do the, uh, the if it is aid they need, then it is aid they shall have. Uh, are these going to be decisions? Yeah. So let's just see what they cost. And where are they at? Uh, economic policy. So it's political power. You think there'd be other costs as well? Yeah, it looks like consumer goods. I see. Can you do both of them? Well, this one here is going to give them this, this Turkish light industry. So this one is going to give them civilian factories. Well, this one here is going to give them like infrastructure, air bases, anti-air. Well, let's just do one at a time for now. Since I do have uh, that big civilian uh, factory cost, you know, 5%, that's pretty heavy. It's not taking, uh, specifically taking civilian factories, you know. So that's that's why we, we don't want to do it that way. Um, so let's go and get all these troops moving around. Obviously, they're all stuck over here. We got to get the planes moving. This is this is a lot of stuff we got to get done, guys. Um, so we want to go ahead and start planning for invasions. Uh, but let me just see what the casualties are looking like. So the French, 1.39 million casualties. We did a million of that. Well, they only killed 34.3 thousand of us. That's an insane kill death ratio. Absolutely fantastic here, guys. We got 87% of the total war participation. So we will definitely control the treaty. Italy only has 7%, the Spanish 4%. Uh, and that's really just because of the casualties they're taking. 88,000 for the Italians, uh, 120,000 for the Spanish, 120,000 for Poland. Uh, the British have taken 2.04 million casualties. That's absolutely insane. Uh, 1.6 million from us, while they only killed 34.6 thousand of ours. Uh, and what's crazy here is they only have 38 divisions remaining. All those troops they have uh, had uh, have been wiped out. So their total manpower is about, you know, maybe 600,000 is what they got left. That's it, guys. So the, the British are, are reeling now at this point. They can't even properly defend their ports. So we need to take advantage of that and get these invasions planted up uh, now. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. So we need to send uh, Manstein for sure. I'm just seeing where we're going to want to hit them. Let's just take a look where they have the, the forts. So of course they have the forts here. They don't have one there. They do have the one in Dover, as you'd expect. None over here. Okay, so only Dover has fortifications. I thought they had some focuses that grant fortifications. So I was thinking there'd be a few more fortified provinces, but that is not the case. All right, so uh, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, we're, we're not going to put our troops over here yet. Uh, I did, you know, I, I kind of fortified this so we could use it for invasions later. But any troops we put in the sea right now are just going to get sunk uh, and destroyed. So that is not the effective way to do this. Now we are looking at potential invasions here. We do have all these troops set up, um, but yeah, that's clearly the tanks are not the, the best at doing that. But I want to have the uh, invasions done by the infantry because tanks just aren't very good at it. We'll send the tanks in after the infantry win. Um, so let's go and get these guys set up. We'll probably want to split these up into multiple invasions just so they don't take as long to plan. They don't have a lot of troops to stop us, so why not? Uh, so let's just go ahead and do this, guys. We have to have them in the same. Okay, this that will do it. We'll just set up uh, three separate invasions rather than doing it that way. Uh, and then also, you know, you got the, the supply issues that can arise. Um, so yeah, we're going to attack here. We're going to attack over here. Uh, we can only send 10 at a time. Now, they still plan, um, but yeah, we can only send 10 at a time because of the fact that uh, we didn't get any of those. Yeah, we didn't get any of those invasion techs, unfortunately. All right, so that's kind of a bummer. All right, so what we want to do is let's take... 
It's like three. And oh yes, that's right. Let me do that. You gotta do it this way. All right, so let's just have these guys go here. And we can take two. And I'm trying to move them, but apparently it's not gonna let me do it like that. So you gotta do it that way. All right, that's fine. Uh, and then take one more right. over here. Move them out. And then put them over there. Just get a unit in there. You don't have to have a unit in there uh, for them to plant it. They'll plant it just fine. Uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll so just move in some of these guys over to these locations. And uh, these guys over here. So that once we get the the research done, which is going to have to be a priority at this point. Uh, I don't know when we're getting something done. 26 days. Wow. All right. So that sucks. We still do the invasion here. Yeah, but um, we're going to be quite limited. Uh, unfortunately, because I didn't get that tech. I didn't even realize I didn't get it, guys. That's my bad. All right. So we're just going to do air defense here for right now. Just help out defending all this territory. Uh, just the ports. All right, excellent. And um, let me see what we've got over here. Where are those, are these, this is this army here. Okay, um, so we can go and get them training because we're not really looking at much invasions right now. Get them training if they need it. Eventually we want to put some more troops over there, uh, but the Russians still don't have the troop numbers that they need themselves. Uh, so it's not too much of an issue. Um, Gadarian, let's have him go over here somewhere for now. Although I do want him to be able to do, if we do this invasion, I want him to like shoot over there immediately. Um, so you know what, let's actually give him a fallback line. Oh, they gotta be in ports though, don't they? Okay, so we'll just like micro this a little bit. All right, so we got them spread out in those three locations. Of course, these guys have already gotten their assignments as well. Yeah, I think everybody's good to go except for uh, this army here. Uh, which, we'll just have them in the back somewhere. Yeah, we'll just put them somewhere in the back. It doesn't really matter. Let's give them a fallback line somewhere to... Man, just to keep them busy. We'll let them train too, because these guys clearly lost. Took a few losses here. Or maybe they weren't even trained when I put them there, I don't know. I assume it's when they're attacking those level 10 forts. This is where they, they took the losses. So I think that's everybody. Could be mistaken. I think everybody's got orders. Uh, we got to protect against the naval invasions, but yeah, the focus here is uh, getting the British Navy destroyed, which I guess that's what we need to do. Uh, we need to move the, the planes. Uh, we got all these planes over here, so we want to get them all moving elsewhere. Um, so the English Channel and uh, here is, is what I'm thinking. All right, so these guys are all assigned where we need them. So we just need to make sure that everybody's either in the English Channel or Southern England. Yeah, like here, you can see we got a bunch in, in Northern France at this point. Um, so let's go and move these guys. Uh, we'll take, I'm thinking like a lot of these guys are gonna move over to here now. Uh, close air support, I mean, you could use them for naval bombing, uh, but I don't think we're gonna do that, guys. I think we're probably going to just uh, have them set up to, to do the, the close air support, even though we're not actually doing the invasions right now. It's fine. Otherwise, I will forget. You guys already know that I'm gonna forget. So let's just put them over there to do that. Uh, and I think that's for, for the best guys. Uh, and these guys can also go over here. All right, so just make sure they're all helping us out here in these two areas. So yeah, we're good there. Uh, now it's these planes here that you gotta get assigned. Um, we could put more in the Mediterranean, though I don't know if there's gonna be much uh, British ships still over there at this point. Probably not, maybe. Uh, do we have any more naval bombers? I guess that's the question here in the stockpile. You'd assume so, but uh, we have taken losses, so maybe not. Yeah, 26, 179, no. No more naval bombers, guys. Okay, so yeah, we've, we've taken too many losses. I see, okay. So yeah, we won't be able to put out any more air wings of naval bombers, but we can uh, get more more uh, bombings going. Uh, so we'll go ahead and do that. We'll take these tactical bombers. So we have these tactical bombers here all set for Northern France. Uh, clearly we'll need to move them closer. I'm not sure where we're gonna wanna put them just yet. I'm thinking like right here. Now you can also use them for uh, naval bombing too. 
You know, I, I think we might do that, in fact. To, like, hit some of these areas that we can we can barely reach. I think that would be wise. Yeah, uh, so that's what we're going to do. Uh, let's take one of these naval bombers and bring him over here. I know he's not in a great position. We'll actually let's move him here and then we'll move him on that new air base that we're, we're currently building. So he'll go that way so we can bomb in this area. And then yeah, with the tactical bombers, let's just take one to bomb the North Sea. And I'm thinking one to bomb the Western approaches as well. So you need to move him like right here and have him do the naval strikes. And then take one of these guys and have him move over to here and have him do the naval strikes as well. All right, excellent. So I'm not thinking, I think logistics isn't gonna be incredibly effective um, at this point because they don't have a lot of troops. Uh, so, you know, that's not what their problem is gonna be. So I think we should focus on strategic bombing. I think would be in our best interest. Uh, we won't be able to provide any fighter support over here, I don't think. Maybe, they might be able to reach. Probably not though, so I think it's best to just focus on Southern England. That's where a lot of their production is anyways, so that's what we'll do. Uh, so we'll move forward here and switch them all out of logistics and into uh, strategic bombing. All right, so a lot of bombers there now. Uh, we also got more fighters to help support them. And if we got any space here, which it does look like we do have some space, we'll want to start moving these these planes. So the close air support, what I'm thinking is probably just moving them onto close air support here for the uh, invasions is the best way to do this again. So let's want to get these guys moving over to here. And that's probably good for the close air support. You can move more. I think it's unnecessary though. So we're just gonna move them back home is what I'm thinking. So let's get them all going back over to here. And then, you know, I mean, we got stupid numbers of, of planes still uh, that need to get moved. Let's have this guy go over here. And then I don't really know how we're doing on airbase space at this point, but we are um, currently building up. All right, so that's all those guys. Let's let's get these all moved around real quick so we can figure out what kind of space we got left. So yeah, we'll let them all move, give them uh, a few days, move to their locations. And yeah, this is gonna be the focus, guys, is just getting the uh, Royal Navy destroyed, as well as any convoys that come through here. Yeah, it's gonna be difficult to do invasions until, until we get uh, them destroyed. Get all these troops moving as well. Over to their locations. Stop any potential naval invasions by the British. Looks like the Italians are having success there, the Isle of Man. And uh, yeah, look at this. We sunk their last cruiser, or excuse me, sunk their last uh, carrier and uh, three heavy cruisers. Another heavy cruiser there. All right, so yeah, having a lot of success at this point. Uh, with just the sheer number of planes we've put into the skies. Uh, so yeah, we'll bring more planes over here if we got the space, which I am seeing uh, there's at least open space here where we can bring some more fighters. And then yeah, what we want to do is just probably bring a lot of these closed air support. I mean, you could bring some here, but I don't know if there's been enough space there for them. We're, we're building up air bases, so let's just bring all the closed air support, like all of them. Let's see if we can't find a place that uh, we could put all 2,000. Okay, well, what if you... If you move this one fighter out of there... Because these are all in northern France. So if you move this one fighter out of there... There's got to be an open spot somewhere right here. Put him over here. And then you just take all 2,000... Let me just close this for a second. And then take all 2,000... And have them go here and then stop their their bombing missions. All right, so now you just need to do the fighters and then these close air support. And we wanna move them all over here and stop their bombings. And then you take the fighters that you have here. This is uh, obviously a lot of micromanagement here. Uh, then you take the fighters that you have here and uh, see if you can't plug them into any locations. It doesn't look like there's really much openings here, unfortunately, but we can take these two and bring them over 
I don't know if they can reach from right there. Maybe. Alright, so that looks good. Obviously, more planes are going to need to be moved. Um, these close air support. Let's go ahead and move these guys back home. Just trying to save some of the fuel that we're currently spending. Alright, so this looks all good here, guys. And I'm uh, just trying to get this, this British fleet destroyed. And um, obviously, we got to get those invasion techs as well. I just keep on bombing them until the point that uh, they go and hide, uh, which I suppose, yeah, that's something we should be doing. Uh, we should take some of the ones that are doing, I guess we could do all the close air support. Instead of having them do close air support, have them do port strike. That makes a lot of sense, guys. Uh, so we'll, we'll sink them as they repair, if they repair in this specific location. Obviously, if they go elsewhere to repair, then it won't help us. But, uh, yeah, let's let's get them all destroyed in the port. And, and what I'm trying to do is, is keep the uh, naval bombers and close air support kind of separate on missions so I can easily, you know, get them back to, to doing close air support when we want to do the invasions. Just trying to reduce the micromanagement just a little bit. All right, we got the destroyers sunk. Yeah, very effective all throughout here. Uh, submarines, let's take a look at these. Uh, I'm sure we're gonna need to. Yeah, we gotta merge some of these guys. They have uh, taken some losses. Let's go and get these guys coming over there, and uh, just replace the losses that we taken here. I mean, yeah, there's there's a lot of uh, a lot of ships we've lost, a lot of submarines. All right, so just trying to get them bombed in port. Says there's something here, but I can't see anything. And, um, you know, submarines attacking these uh, convoys that are coming through here. And I just wonder if they're uh, going to start having some fuel problems now. You'd think so. I mean, they're, they are running a little bit low. Uh, but they still, have, they still have enough, though. Sunk a destroyer with that port strike. Excellent. Another destroyer sunk there. So those are the ones that we're repairing. All right. So, yeah, we're really getting this fleet sunk now. I'm really tempted to go ahead and move our fleet out now. I think we will. Because we control the skies here. And um, they don't have the sheer number of, uh, you know, ships that they used to have. I think we're going to do it, guys. Let's move these guys into the English Channel now. It's risky, uh, but I feel confident with uh, the sheer number of, of naval bombers we have that we can get this done. We can uh, win in the seas, despite... Not really having the numbers. Remember, they lost a lot of capital ships as well. So we brought our, our main fleet over here, and we'll see if uh, they have some success now. Uh, we could also bring more planes over here. I can attempt to do port strikes here. I don't know if they're actually going to repair in these ones, though. We need to use the uh, tactical bombers for that, though, I think. All right, let's just take a look at the plane situation uh, and see if we can't get more fighters over here. Um, they, they don't have as many here as I was expecting them to have. They don't have any in the English Channel. Um, so let's put more planes over there if we can fit them. I know we're building air bases up, but uh, okay, there's there's the there's the space that we're building. I knew we were building them somewhere. I was like, where the hell? Where the hell do we have them? All right, so they'll go over there. Uh, that'll help out. And we got 1,000 more fighters here, 1,400 there. So we got plenty of planes uh, to put into these areas if needed. Uh, we should put more over here. Can we fit any more into this airbase? We can. Let me just see if there's any more space up along here. There's not. So let's just put... I think all these guys are in English Channel. No, no. We got the close air support there. Alright, so yeah, we'll take um, just a few of these here. Just like uh, 200. Is that all we can fit in there? Not even that. We can only fit like 100, but... Yeah, that's okay. Uh, maybe we'll get the uh, allied planes out of there once we overstaff it. And we're, we're building it up as well. Uh, we can actually speed this up now since we got a, a little bit of time to wait here. We could attempt a naval invasion, I suppose. And I actually have somebody to do that. I know these guys don't have screen support, but whatever. We're going to risk it, guys. Um, though I think... No, fortunately we do have so many battleships here uh, that we don't have enough. Yeah, there's not enough here. Um, so yeah, they just won't have screen support, and their job is going to be the uh, naval invasions. 
Although, yeah, yeah, they can go over there now. I was about to say, it looked like they're not moving. All right, so port strikes are having some success here. Yeah, we sunk a heavy cruiser, several destroyers at this point, and just bombing those, those fleets as they attempt to repair. And that's how we're going to try and get this win here. Sinking them in port. It's nowhere safe they can go, at least in the southern reaches here. I'm not entirely sure why we can't see what this one is. I'm just going to dismiss it for now. Uh, hopefully it still pops back up, though. The notification. Uh, we losing planes, of course, while doing these port strikes. You know, the, the ships have anti-air. There's also anti-air in the south. Quite a bit of anti-air in the south, I think. Um, so yeah, they're gonna. I mean, they're, they've been bombed very heavily, though. You can see all the damage to the uh, to their stuff. All right, so yeah, we uh, can attempt to launch this invasion as soon as these guys are ready. But uh, I don't know how effective it would be. Uh, we need 56 days total, though. Yeah, I don't know how effective the invasion will be. Really hard to say. Um, did the ships go where I wanted them to go? They did. Okay. I want to make sure they're protecting the largest of those invasions. Sinking more more British ships all throughout here. And a lot of success, guys. Also getting these convoys sunk. Yeah, this is looking good. Trying to get that, that battleship. And anything that uh, attempts to repair in those ports is going to be sunk. Or at least damage. Yeah, convoys all throughout here. So just kind of shutting them down so they can't even get uh, the resources from the trade that you know they're, they're trading for. That's a battleship sunk on the port strike. Excellent. Yeah, that's what we need to see happen here, guys. Just give them no respite. Sink the ships everywhere. Getting the convoy sunk. Another battleship sunk right there, unless it was one that just didn't disappear. But I think I think that's a new one. There's a new one there. Yeah, we're wrecking this this uh, fleet here. They're down to 133 ships. Uh, only three battleships remaining. Wow. Yeah, this is not going well for the British. Okay. Um, unfortunately, this is probably going to have to be the end here. And I guess we can get to the end of April. See what we've done by May 1st. Uh, and I guess this is the key thing I wanted to do here. Uh, now that we've gotten this... Which we do have the advanced heavy cannon as well. Uh, but yeah, now that we've gotten that, and, and I don't think we're going to upgrade that. I think we're just going to wait to get the, the new tank models, which I believe we're still working on, right? Yeah, we'll get that in 34 days here. Though, uh, I mean, where are we going to use them for? I guess you can use them against the Russians, but probably unnecessary because Russia looks weak. I don't know if they're ever going to declare independence. I don't really feel like fighting Japan. We just don't have the time in the series to fight Japan, I don't think. You know, because then you got to destroy their big old fleet, which is probably going to be significant. Because they didn't have a, a civil war. And they haven't fought anybody. They had a fleet yet, so they've just been building this whole time. Uh, there's not many ships as I thought they'd have. 400. Uh, they're not at war with anybody either. Okay, I'm not entirely sure uh, what's going on with them. But yeah, I don't uh, I don't really want to fight Japan. I just want to fight the, the Russians. I thought they would have declared independence by now, but they have not. Uh, but yeah, let's go and get that that tech researched. I just didn't even think about this. We just haven't gotten it yet. Landing craft. We need to get that. And we'll get the next one right after that. Even if uh, I think it's it might be a 1945 tech, uh, but yeah, we'll probably still go for it. Yeah, it's not even gonna take that long. Uh, and it looks like it's a 44 tech anyways. Uh, we haven't even got any of the naval 44 techs, but there's no point anymore because our only other enemy is uh, Russia, which if you look at their land army, which is quite pathetic, uh, they probably don't have much of a much of a fleet, I would expect. All right, another light cruiser sunk there, destroyer sunk there, another battleship, ten more destroyers. I think that's a good place to end it off here. Uh, yeah, the British fleet is not doing great. Uh, they're down to 116 ships. That is all. Uh, three. Well, I was going to say three capital ships. We do have the eight, the eight heavy cruisers, but I practically don't even count those because uh, they're so easy to sink. But 11 capital ships total. Uh, 61 destroyers left of that 300-something destroyers they originally had. 14.8 uh, thousand planes. So we've destroyed uh, you know about 2,000. Well, maybe not quite. Maybe 1,500 planes or so of theirs. Um, we actually destroyed a lot more, obviously, because they, they have their plane production going as well. Um, as far as our own plane production, we're... It's kind of, you know, basically replacing any losses as we take them. So doing pretty good on that front. 
Uh, let's just take a look at the casualties here, and then we'll be ending the episode. Um, so currently, we're still at 68,000. Not really new casualties here. Uh, same thing with the British. They haven't taken very many new casualties. They're at 2.06 million. Uh, but yeah, only... Uh, I mean, they built some divisions, I think, because they had 36, so they built some divisions, unfortunately. They're up to 40-something. And remember, they have the Americans sending volunteers as well. They might have other countries sending volunteers. I'm not seeing... I'm not even seeing any Americans besides that one, but we saw they had an American cab division, too. Uh, the Italians have been successful here. That gives us another point in invasion. But, of course, our problem here is that uh, you know, we don't uh, we don't have those invasion decks. So that's kind of why we're, we're very limited at this point. But I just neglected to get that. Uh, but we'll get it here in 122 days, uh, which you know we might end up launching that invasion before then. Because what I'm thinking is we'll just launch this. Maybe just take the two that are going this way and, and send them on here and just have a 10 army invasion. And just launch that and see if it wins. Um, there, there is a risk of the fleet... Uh, coming and engaging these guys. We're not too worried about it. They'll have the escorts, and of course, we we dominate the, the English Channel at this point. See, so yeah, I'm not I'm not concerned about it, guys. Uh, we could put more planes over here. Apparently, I mean, we, we control the skies, but uh, and more planes might be might be helpful over there. Uh, we got a ton of fighters that we could move up here as soon as we have air bases opened up. I don't think our fighters can reach. Yeah, not very well anyway. Northern England. And there's a ton of planes there. Let the Italians fight there. I don't think that's the best way for us to do it. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be the end of today's episode. Hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, make sure you leave a like on the video. Subscribe to our channel. Hit that notification bell and leave a comment. Do hope to see you guys on the next one where we should be doing the invasion of Britain. Uh, so, so I'll see you then. And thanks for watching.